YouTube, what's up? Here with another VRNE edition. I have been getting a lot of questions on some of my other VRNE videos, which is a good thing. That means that uh, veterans are looking into it, or at least interested in it. Maybe some have already applied, but that's definitely a good thing. More veterans need to apply and be interested in VRNE because it's a great benefit that I think goes unused. <clears throat> but anyways, I've been getting one question specifically, and that is in regards to BAH. People are want, wondering and wanting to know whether or not they are going to get that same BAH rate that they got with the post 9-11, are they going to get that same rate when they're on VRNE? So let's look into that. So let's go to benefits.va.gov. Um, I'll put this in the link below, but right now we're on the subsistence allowance rates page of the veteran readiness and uh, employment. So if we go to the last sentence in here, it tells us everything we need to know. So it says, if a veteran qualifies for post 9-11 GI Bill, they may be eligible to receive the basic allowance for housing, BAH, for subsistence. Which means, as long as you have one day, just one day, of BA or a post 9-11 left just one day and now you've been accepted for BRE and you're going to start using that as long as you have that one day then you will get that same rate that you would get if you were still just using post 9-11 like you normally were so as long as you just have that one day then you'll get the same BAH rate otherwise your rate will be significantly lower. And for VRNE, they call it a subsistence allowance. It's not VAH, but per se, it's the same thing. But your rate will be significantly, lo significantly lower. I remember looking at my rate for uh, the area I live in, and if I didn't have any time on my post 9-11 left, it would literally be less than half of what I would have gotten if if I have time on my post 9-11. Um, so it's a big difference. And this brings up a really good point as to why you should apply for VRNE before your post 9-11 is used up. And I think there's actually two main reasons as to why you should do that. One is and this is assumingly, assumingly if you've already used up your post 9-11, it means that you probably already have a, have a degree. I think that's, you know, usually, probably most of the time, that's a good assumption. And if you already have a degree, it's going to be harder to get approved for VRNE. I'm by no means saying that's impossible, so I don't want that to discourage anybody out there who already has a degree and is applying for VRNE. It's still possible. However, it is more difficult when you apply for VRNE when you already have a degree. So, that's why, one reason why it's better to apply for VRNE before you have used up your post 9 11. Because then, you know, you, most people don't have a degree yet at that point if they haven't used up, you know, some people do. Um, and then the other point which is in relation to this BAH stuff, if you use up your post 9-11 completely and then get transferred to VRNE, get approved for that, and now you're on VRNE, your allowance rates, your monthly allowance rates are going to be significantly lower. Like I said, less than half. You're going to get less than half of what you could have otherwise gotten if you kept some time on your post 9-11. So these are two big things to keep in mind, especially if you are going to, you know, if you're gonna have a long education journey, if you're going for a master's or 
a, a graduate degree or something like that. This is something that you're going to want to keep in mind to apply for VRNE possibly as soon as, as soon as you can, at least with a good amount of time on your post 9/11 left, so that you'll still get that good BAH rate, and you won't get the shitty subsistence rate that comes with VRNE because that is not gonna going to be enough to sustain you on a month to month basis. It, it just ain't unless you're selling feet pics on OnlyFans. Then maybe. One last thing, if you are interested or would like to know your BAH rate based on the area that you live in, I will leave a link in the description below to a VA resource that should help you out with that. But that was all. That was all I wanted to talk about. So if you gained any from anything from this, give it a like for future videos, subscribe, and look out for my feet pics on OnlyFans, baby. Let's go.